break down lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other bike. 100 FM, the bike. Every Friday, we play your messages back here from the Breakdown Lane. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Mike. How is everybody doing on this fabulous day? You guys are awesome on the radio, and I'd like to hear a song if I could. Look at Little Sister by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Crank it up. Oh, we threw a crank it up in there. Crank it up. I love that. <laughs> of course, Steve Arino. That is how you make a request here on the Pike. Steve Arino, Steve Arino has set the gold standard right there. You butter us up. And then you make your request. Not to mention a good song. That is a good tune. We'll, we'll have that up for you next, Steve Arino. No problem. Hey, Shoe. I remember last week there was a message of a guy saying to keep your mouth shut <laughs> when it comes to the Bruins. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Why don't you just keep your oh, mouth oh, shut? Oh, 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 oh wow. your disc game. <laughs> your what game? game? Your disc game. <laughs> oh. That's disrespectful. <laughs> wow. All right, I'll keep my mouth shut. I'm it, sorry. It doesn't matter. I can keep my mouth shut. I can keep talking. They're, just, they're still going to lose. That You're guy can't talking. handle the truth. Yeah, that's right, buddy. <laughs> all right? You're not a fan. A real fan is a miserable jerk. All right? Oh, uh, Siri, call 911. Siri, 911. Oh. Playing Reno? 911. No, Siri. <laughs> what is your emergency? I, I crashed my flying machine. Oh, where? The Enchanted Hills. That's right. The, the guy we talked about, the, the the parasailing thing, he had this giant kind of propeller with him, and he was on a parachute, and then it stopped, and he fell. I think he fell like 100. 85 feet. Oh, was it 85 feet? Yeah. And then he broke several bones. Yes. And Siri, for some reason... Wasn't dialing nine one one for him. Well, she was laughing. Yeah, and so and then <laughs> it was. We just thought it was funny. He's fine, which is good. He's going to live. But just the fact that he was here. This is his. Help me, please! I crashed my flying machine. Ah! <laughs> it started out so great. He's like, I'm going fifty miles an hour. Yeah. He started out so confident. He was so psyched, and then he had to tell the dispatcher, "I crashed my flying machine." And then he. Had Where to say, are you? In the Enchanted Hills. <laughs> oh, I thought you said the Enchanted Village. Oh, right. <laughs> Might as well. Either way, right? It's just like, okay, crashed Harry. crashed into Jordan Mosh. All right, Harry Potter. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> hey, my chew, Alex Jones here. I'm calling because you keep saying you're surprised the Bruins are going to a Game 7, but the referees are known to be working with Hillary Clinton and the other lizard people. They forced the Game 7. Explain Game 7. They put charges in it. And the oh Toronto God. Maple Leafs have not beat the Boston Bruins since the Coconut Grove fire. <laughs> and that is why the Maple Leafs are going to a Game 7. It's going to overtime. And Hillary Clinton is going to make sure that the Boston Bruins go to overtime. And then they're going to win. History repeats itself. It's all rigged. We all know this. I'm, you know what? I'll believe that at this point. Finally, a logical explanation. Right, somebody has, who's explaining it all with reason. Right? Thank I can you. see the veins popping out of his head. Alex Jones. I can smell his breath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Alex Jones, guy. All right, thanks for your messages. The Pike Breakdown Lane. Uh, we do it every Friday. And uh, don't forget, we'll never call you back, and we'll never sell your information. You can call the